If you heat up a gas, the gas particles move faster. If the gas is in a solid container with fixed volume, this means that the faster the gas particles move, the more times per second they collide with the sides of the container. We learned from the previous lesson that it is called pressure. Good day, grade 10! In this lesson, we will find out the relationship between the temperature and pressure. I am Mrs. Karen Rose Baez and let me present to you the presentation prepared by Mrs. Minerva M. Ramos. These are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, participants are expected to explain the effect of changes in temperature and pressure. Use the pressure-temperature relationship to determine the new pressure or temperature of a given amount of gas at a constant volume. Perform calculations involving the relationship among temperature and pressure. And cite practical applications of Gay-Lussac's law or Amonton's law. Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac shares credit with Guillaume Amonton for establishing a gas law describing the relationship among temperature and pressure. One of the postulates in the kinetic molecular theory is the effect of temperature on the motion of gas particles. Guillaume Amonton, a French physicist, discovered this while building an air thermometer in late 1600s. It was proved by French chemist and physicist Joseph Louis Gay Lussac in 1802 when he conducted an experiment and discovered the relationship between temperature and pressure. He found out that the pressure of a gas increased or decreased proportionally with a change in temperature. He summarized his findings in his proposed Gay Lussac's Law which states that the pressure of a fixed amount of a gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. For a gas, temperature and pressure are directly proportional when you keep everything else constant. As the temperature of a gas goes up, its pressure goes up. As the temperature of a gas goes down, its pressure goes down. This is the schematic illustration of Gay-Lussac's law. As the temperature increases, the pressure also increases. As you can see in the illustration, the container number 2, which has a higher temperature, you can see that the particles move faster than that of the container number 1. It can be mathematically expressed as P is directly proportional to T or P over T when the volume is constant. For any two sets of pressure and temperature, the equation can be stated as P sub 1 over T sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 over T sub 2. Thus, P sub 1 times T sub 2 is equal to P sub 2 times T sub 1. Since P sub 1 times T sub 2 is equal to P sub 2 times T sub 1, we can derive the following formula. In solving for the initial pressure, we use the formula P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 times T sub 1 all over T sub 2. In solving for the final pressure, we use the formula P sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 times T sub 2 all over T sub 1. In solving for the initial temperature, we use the formula T sub 1 is equal to P sub 1 times T sub 2 all over P sub 2. And in solving for the final temperature, we use the formula T sub 2 is equal to P sub 2 times T sub 1 all over P sub 1. Since we already know the different formula that we can use, we can now solve the following problems. Sample problem number 1. A 30 liter sample of nitrogen inside a rigid metal container is placed inside an oven. The pressure inside the container at 20 degrees Celsius was 3 atmosphere. What is the pressure of nitrogen after its temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius inside the oven? 
So these are the given. P sub 1 is equal to 3 atmosphere. T sub 1 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius and that is equivalent to 293.15 Kelvin. T sub 2 is equal to 50 degrees Celsius and that is equal to 323.15 Kelvin. And we're looking for the P sub 2 or the final pressure. So in solving for the final pressure, we are going to use the formula P sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 times T sub 2 all over T sub 1. So that is P sub 2 is equal to 3 atmosphere times 323.15 Kelvin all over... 293.15 Kelvin. We're going to cancel the unit Kelvin. Multiply 3 atmosphere to 323.15 and divide the answer by 293.15. And the answer is 3.31 atmosphere. So our final pressure is 3.31 atmosphere. As you can see, when the temperature was increased to 50 degrees Celsius, the pressure also increased. So we have here 3 atmosphere and then the final pressure is 3.31 atmosphere. So as the temperature increases, the pressure also increases. Sample problem number 2. If a gas is cooled from 323 Kelvin, to a standard temperature and the volume is kept constant, what final pressure would result if the original pressure was 750 millimeters of mercury? There is a standard set of conditions for experimental measurement to enable computations between sets of data. This is referred to a standard temperature and pressure or STP. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or IUPAC, established the standard pressure and temperature as a temperature of 273.15 Kelvin, or 0 degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and an absolute pressure of 100 kilopascals, or 14.504 pound per square inch or PSI or 0 0.987 atmosphere and one bar. So these are the given. You have the P sub 1 is equal to 750 millimeters of mercury. Initial temperature is 323 Kelvin and the final temperature is 273.15 because as I have already told you that we have the um, standard temperature and pressure and the standard temperature is 273.15 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So because our, the given initial temperature is 323, then we are going to get the um, standard pressure, I, I mean a standard temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so we're looking for the final pressure. So we're going to use the formula P sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 times T sub 2 all over T sub 1. So that is equivalent to 750 millimeters of mercury times 273.15 Kelvin all over 323 Kelvin. So we are going to cancel the unit Kelvin. Multiply 750 to 273.15 and divide the answer by 323. The answer is 634.25 millimeters of mercury. So our 
final pressure is 634.25 millimeters of mercury. Amonton's law explains the following phenomena or applications. There are more flat tires during summer. Temperature is high during summer, thereby causing an increased pressure inside the tires. Pressure is adjusted in tires before a trip. The flexing of tires while driving increases the temperature of the gas inside the tire, thus increasing the pressure. Throwing an aerosol can into a fire may cause it to explode. High temperature causes gas in the aerosol can to exert more pressure. Dipping distended ping pong balls in warm water. Hot water raises the temperature of air inside the ping pong ball, thereby causing the gas molecule to move faster, which in turn increases pressure. Operation of the pressure cooker. Pot pressure cooker is a well-sealed pot. It does not allow the steam to escape. The steam builds and creates pressure. Water under high pressure boils at higher temperature than the normal boiling point. Due to high temperature, the food gets cooked faster. Thank you for watching the video, Batang IS. I hope you all learn more from us today. Shout out to Francia and Joff, Jed, Joanne, and Diane. God bless, Batang IS.